One UI 5 watch is here and it is pretty big, almost 1.7 gigabytes. So take your time installing it. It is available for your Galaxy Watch 4 and 5. Register and download the new software version by the Samsung members up. When you see this picture right here, you are eligible to get your hands on it. Watch faces and tiles. You can now add watch faces and tiles more easily. There is a new vertical layout to make it more easy to find the watch faces you desire and the tiles that are right for you. If you've chosen a Galaxy Buds controller tile on your Galaxy Watch, basically it has been improved now and you can turn on 360 audio on or off from the Buds controller tile. Obviously they have to support 360 audio first. Then you have quick access to timer. There is a new tile for your timer and you can start timers from the new timer tile without opening the timer up. It makes it more efficient now. You can also set an album or story as your watch face if you so desire. And if you're into that, you can, instead of having just one picture, you can now make your watch face cycle between several pictures in an album or story that you basically select. Your watch face will change to a different picture each time you turn on the watch screen. So basically, every time you lift your hand or your wrist, you will see a different picture, the one you have chosen. And here, people said it couldn't be done. You can now automatically record cycling workouts. Samsung Health can now detect when you start cycling, basically auto detect just like running or walking. You can also set whether to automatically map your cycling routes or not. Here we've seen the charts already. This is your heart rate guidance during your running workouts. You can choose your desired level in terms of heart rate where you want to be, like fat burning level. And then your watch can provide you a personalized heart rate zone while you run, basically to help you manage your exercise intensity if you want to be on level two, three or five or four. I've seen lots of complaints in terms of backup and restore. Basically, when you want to backup your watch, there was a whole bunch of people who had issues. Now it is improved. Keep your watch data safe. Files and data from your watch are periodically backed up to your phone when it is connected to your watch. And you can also save backups to Samsung Cloud. You obviously have to have a Samsung account and Samsung Cloud, but your phone needs to have the latest version of the smart switch app to use this feature that has been improved full stop now. And now you can control your phone via your watch better. You have more call controls. You can have more control over calls without touching your phone. Basically everything has been done on your watch, Galaxy Watch 4 or 5. You can adjust the call volume, mute sound, and press buttons on the keypad, basically all from your watch. And here's some additional changes. Dictate text with the home button just press and hold the home button anytime you are entering a text with Samsung keyboard. So it's not Google keyboard. It has to have the Samsung keyboard installed or your default keyboard has to be the Samsung keyboard to instantly switch to voice input. This feature has been requested many times use multiple timers at once people said it couldn't be done well it has been done now you can now have up to 20 timers running at the same time to help keep track of all your tasks all at once this one we've seen also before share your medical information in an emergency a button to access your medical information will appear automatically when a heart fall is detected or when you press the home button five times to start the emergency SOS feature. As for device care, I'm gonna have to check this out more in depth because we have the diagnostics tool already. I assume this is basically on the watch itself, on the Galaxy Watch 4 or 5, check the status of your watch's battery, storage and memory. And then you can immediately fix any problems you uh, see to extend battery life and keep your watch running smoothly. I mean, we all have issues or many people have issues with battery life, so this will become in handy. Here's another control for your watch. Watch only before we had a calling control for your phone, right? You can control a phone call or better via your watch. Now this is uh, basically, you can now control your watch without touching the screen or pressing a button. You can assign different actions to basically gestures such as shaking your wrist, making a fist or pinching your fingers. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to check this if you wanna have the Google Assistant app, you shake your wrist and then it comes up something like that or make a WhatsApp call and then you can use one of these controls that you basically assign to that action. This one is pretty neat as well. Organize apps in folders. We all have many apps on our um, app screen at first and now you can organize these apps in folders. You can create folders 
to keep your apps organized so you can find the apps you basically need quickly access to. If you're interested in One UI 5 Watch and you are interested to have this on your Galaxy Watch 4 or 5, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to like the video. I hope I earned your subscription. I'm going to do a deep dive with all these features and present them to you very shortly. Thank you for watching. It was a pleasure as always. Peace out.